Good to know you're still alive. We've been trying to regain contact ever since your Hilo went missing. I'm glad to see you haven't been taking a vacation down there. But your actions have had unforeseen consequences. Terminating Cruzar, Ortega, and Rocha has forced Los Estroneros to recall their most senior officer from the Bolivian capital. This nasty son of a bitch is one Colonel Juan Ignacio Merlo, and I guarantee you have rarely encountered a man of such loathsome reputation. Merlo is a known war criminal and the veteran of a dozen bloody brushfire wars, but without him, Los Estroneros will fall apart. We've learned he's planning to make an example of the local civilians as payback for all the chaos you've been causing. As of now, your order is to locate the colonel and terminate his command with extreme prejudice. So welcome guys, today we're gonna kill Colonel Merlo. It's basically the end of the story of the Ghost Recon Fallen Ghost Home Sweet Home. So this Colonel Merlo is the boss of all the bosses in the Fallen Ghost and he is now at the bridge which is in the middle of the bridge and left and right wings which is uh very guarded by the extranjeros or whatever unit because I don't know how to differentiate between the extranjeros and the unit they are all purple so purple means the authority well it's different in many countries some say blue is the authority So my strategy here, I've been died few times, but uh, my strategy here to get killed, not by the snipers. So I'm just going to kill the snipers and also whatever up in the bridge. Next thing I want to kill is the jammer because, and I have to watch out the the cover ops. This is I cannot mark the cover ops. So and since this is the end of the fallen ghost, which is quite uh, Got it, okay. shot. Get to a better position. Copy uh, that. Depends on uh, comparing with the wild lines. Oh, the target is coming at me. Oh, that's almost cut up by the enemies. Drone is up. Chopper, down, down. So as I said earlier, this is the story is basically is shorter than the wildlands and also the narco roots. But even though it's short, after you complete this mission and you go, you will go back into a cliff and from there you can go anywhere and put down any rebel supports ops and put down any enemies that you want to kill So it's not quite good enough for me, I'm being hunted here and and it's not that easy so what I'm going to do, the strategy I'm going to do is just to go into the water because they cannot see or can swim into the water. Well, but if, if they put it, uh, things like that, they can swim under the water and everything. Well, it's it will be a mess. So 
as you can see here I am under the bridge and it actually it's I will go up from here and let's see if I can kill the the boss what is the boss the Mar Marcelo Marcel or something yeah that kind of boss I'm gonna equip the sniper rifle I put the mercenary but I'm gonna change a bit because up there I don't need the sniper rifle but you know the thing is with these uh, two kind of slots weapons even if I equip not the sniper rifle I equip the other SMG weapons when I change from a one weapon slot to another weapon slot it took delay so when I lost I don't have enough bullet in one weapon and I switch to another weapon well it's not going to be it's not going to be good because it will be delayed so I don't rock him on I recommend that so it's quite unuseful doing with this item slot well unless for the snipers I never use bow here because the bow is pretty much unbelievable, unsingable handle and it's not quite good enough to handle and it doesn't have any you know uh, point of shooting So sometimes this uh, position I don't know uh, which I cannot use my drone and I have to go with the instinct and <laughs> put down some you needed patrol or a strangerous patrol Now I get clear of it So enemies here I can just go up and kill the blows Americanos think you can come after me? My men have prepared you a warm welcome! Well, comparing to the other three bosses, this I boss is pretty death. much easier. <laughs> you will see right now. See, it's <laughs> I don't have to shoot him. So I just punch him with uh, my weapon, cast, and he died. And what I like about this game is the medical drone, which is I'm not very. It's not very useful in the wildlands, but here it's very useful. So now with everything going on and I have killed the boss, now it's time to escape and go home. <laughs> so it's in the panic <laughs> condition and I just say, just get out, get out, get out. And my training in the swimming training is worth it now. I can swim longer. I can swim faster Man down over here. We got a problem, cartel soldiers ain't coming Yeah, cartel soldiers is coming, but 
I'm out. So, guys, this is the end of the Fallen Ghost, and I hope like the Wildlands they give us more expansion on this, but I don't think so. There's no other boss. Ghost Actual, do you copy? Target has been neutralized. Ghost Actual confirms. Good work. All call signs hold station. Extract is incoming. Over. So we just cut off the head of the snake and now we walk away? Not our call. Now the people get to choose what happens next. Something tells me every politician who looked the other way is going to have a lot of angry folks coming after them. Hey, that's democracy at work. If you want to keep it, you have to fight for it. of unrest in the Bolivian capital is reaching us. Reports of a political scandal involving a private military contractor. The group known as Los Extranjeros is being investigated for multiple violations of United Nations human rights statutes. Debido a los últimos eventos, el presidente de Bolivia le pide a la población que guarde la calma. A call for free elections to sweep away corruption in the government. A chance for freedom? A new dawn for this beleaguered former narco state? But rumors of U.S. military involvement in Bolivian liberation still remain unconfirmed at this time. <laughs>